everyone and it's me of course John Doe right here in Tokyo Japan for another video the Ghost Layers Report now do all of you remember the former president of TEPCO uh, Mr. Masataka Shimazu do you remember how he just kind of floated away or disappeared from the public eye. Do you remember immediately following 311? He was nowhere to be found, could not bring himself to make it back to Tokyo to handle the crisis. Do you remember shortly after even that he got a mysterious illness and was too sick, had to go to the hospital? Do you remember how it got on TV and was crying, crying, crying about how bad he felt for what was happening at Fukushima? Well, he never really went away. Now, he did have to step down, you know, following the full takeover by the Japanese government of TEPCO but he never really left TEPCO in fact on June 25th of 2012 he actually was appointed to a new position within the scope of all the power and control that TEPCO wields in business in Japan he became the outside director at that time of, a, of Fuji Oil, which is a subsidiary of AOC Holdings. Now, TEPCO is the a substantial shareholder in AOC Holdings. So much so, they can name the president, the, any, any positions, right? So they gave him that position. So he didn't go anywhere. This slimy dog devil, you know, he stayed around. Now, what does the outside director do? Well, if you look at the structure of TEPCO and all the companies they own, um, he's a go between guy between AOC and TEPCO and other power utilities that TEPCO owns and operates. Now, AOC Holdings primarily focus on um, oil. They own a lot of operations in the Middle East, primarily. And they bring all that into Japan and they sell it to the various uh, domestic companies here like Showa Shell and others. So he helps coordinate you know, what AOC is able to collect with their holdings and gets that distributed and put those resources in sales and these other companies that would need be. He didn't go anywhere. Now also, just so you know, before Fukushima started, and now even after, even now, he's the vice chairman of something called Nippon Kidaren. Now what is that? Well, that's the, it's called it Employers Federation. Okay. It um, has basically all the big mega companies, the big powerful bourgeois companies, in Japan all together to coordinate and basically cover each other's ass and of course work very very closely with the political class which would be the Japanese government to review key regulations and policies to make sure that it benefits them the most so why do I bring this up why do we bother talking about Mr. Shimizu? Well, for several key reasons here. Number one, it points out the overall power structure of the bourgeois class here in Japan. Most of these companies in Japan are interconnected. Okay? 
either they own all own each other, or they have severe, intense um, business connections that tie them together. And of course, you see here if you pull Kiderman, they tie all that into the political class to wield their control and power. So that shows you how useless the political class is in Japan and exactly why they're useless. They're servants of the bourgeois. That's how it works in Japan. Now it's also typical in Japan when a high-ranking uh, official in a, in, a, in a business is busted or caught doing something or is taking too much heat, they don't fire the person. They shuffle them around to somewhere else. Get them out of the public spotlight so they can continue doing what they have always done. And point two, while it's important that the people, me, you, and everyone else in this world is not a bourgeois or not up there in the top class, Take to the streets. Let your voice be heard. It's important for someone like me to be making videos like this. Of course. Why it's important that people are sharing information and doing all these things. The end, the main point, you see, is that that's not enough. That's why all these things do not get the results that a lot of people expect it to. We don't go for this, you see. The throat, the head of the beast, is these type of people like Shimizu. You know, they can go to Kashima Gaseki every week and can scream and shout at the political class. But that's not really where the power is. It would be more interesting to go to Fuji Oil's headquarters or AOC Holdings headquarters, which are also in Tokyo, and raise hell there. Face them there. That's where the power is. So, I'm just one person. You don't have to listen to me. You don't even have to take me seriously. But if you really want to go after the real power, go after the bourgeois. Face them where their businesses are. Face them where the power literally is. And it's not enough just to get them to give you concessions. You want them gone. You want the bourgeois class gone. You want to kick them out on the street. And replace them with our class. The proletariat. The working class. You want to take over. That's how real change happens. That's how it gets done. So I thought it was important to make this video, to point out this information, and to make the other points that I've made. I hope you enjoyed, and if it's the first time you've seen me or any of my videos, please subscribe. You'll get vids like this, and a whole slew of other stuff for you to explore on this channel. Uh, I'll put some links in the description box below on the actual YouTube page of this video, so you can reference and look at some things for yourself. So until next time, it's me, John Doe, in Tokyo. Check it out.